Hey everybody, my name is Chris Reed and today we are continuing our tutorial series A to Z in Reason Studios. In this video, we will be covering Reason's factory sound wave. Now I know what you're thinking. There's so many great VSTs that you can use in your musical productions. However, Reason comes with an awesome factory sound wave. So in this video, we're going to be creating four different compositions to show off some of Reason's factory sounds. Let's open up Reason so we can check out its factory sound. I'm here in Reason so we can check out its factory sound bank. First of all, I want to let you know that it has an orchestra sound bank that comes with its factory sounds, which also includes many different strings, horns, and different elements for creating orchestras. So you can create film scores with Reason as well. Now Reason has synthesizers as well as sampler instruments. So we're going to check out a few and create some productions right now. So let's start off with checking out one of their samplers. So they have the NNXT, which is a sampler, which means it uses recorded samples in order to create a full instrument. All right, so Reason has many different piano sounds, not just your typical piano, but anything that could be considered a key or a keyboard would be found in this bank. So we can go through the di different sounds and we can check some of them out. Of course, this is just the bare instrument. So you could add reverb, delay, course effect, distortion. You can really get creative with that sound. You don't have to leave it as dry as it is. But that is a piano sound that can be found inside of Reason's factory sound bank. So we've checked out one of Reason's sampler instruments. Now let's check out a synthesizer. I like to use the subtractor whenever I'm working with bass. It has a lot of great bass patches already pre-installed inside of Reason. So we'll go into our factory sounds and locate our subtractor patches and locate our bass. And we'll just play something. So they have a couple different folders inside of the effect patches. So we'll go to dynamics and right there they have a bass folder and we'll look inside of this bass folder and see what kind of bass uh, effects we can add to this subtractor.
So there's a couple things that they're doing inside of this Combinator effect patch that they've created. Of course, we've gone over our Combinator in our earlier episode of A to Z tutorial series here for reason. Um, in the Combinator, you're able to create effect patches and they've created an effect patch with a couple different instruments to just give your bass a little more bass. So we have our equalizer here driving the bass up a little bit more, our compressor and our maximizer to give us a fuller sound. Let's check out another one of Reason's synthesizers, the Europa. Europa is one of the newer synthesizers that they have created. I like to use it for melodies or creating synth lines on top of productions that I've created. If I'm looking for a specific kind of sound, then I can go to Reason Sounds and it will have each different sound grouped into its own folder. So for example, if I need another lead sound, then I can go to leads and it will pull up every single patch that comes inside of Reason Stock Factory Sound Bank that could be considered a lead. Or if I'm looking for a pluck, which I think I am, then I can go to the plucks section. So I think it's time for that part of the musical composition we all love the most, which is the drums. Now Reason comes with a great factory library of drum samples, as well as drum instruments, including the Redrum sound designer and the Kong drum sound designer. Let's check out those drums. So I'm in my factory sounds and I'm going to go to our Kong library and we have Kong kits. So we have a couple different kits here, of course, mapped out to different styles and different ways of that we might make it or play it. And of course, you can uh, you can create your own Kong kits as well. <music> that but it's not giving me enough so I'm gonna add a little bit of boost to that low end just a little bit of boost to that low end
drum designer, you can change around how you want your drums to hit and play. So it's really great to just get into there and just change some things around. <music> And just like that, we've created a pretty smooth production here in Reason using only Reason's factory sound banks. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and load up a few more. We're just going to speed through these uh, so that you can get a different flair and a different feeling for the different kind of productions that can create it inside of Reason. I think this calls for something special.
right, so that's four different kinds of productions done inside of Reason with using the Reason Factory Sound Bank. Uh, let's go ahead and check out each one of those beats right now. Reason's Factory Sound Bank definitely has tons of sounds that you can use and tons of instruments and tons of samples that you can choose from, including drums, bass, piano, synth. All of those different kinds of sounds can be found right inside of Reason's Factory Sound Bank. And of course, if you pick up Reason, then you might be short on cash for all of the other VSTs. So don't fret if you do pick up Reason 12 coming out soon, you're sure to have plenty of sounds to get your creative juices flowing and get your music productions out. And then if you want to build on that sound bank, you can always go to reasonstudios.com and download more refills, more sounds, and more instruments. Well, I hope that you guys liked this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a like, share it if you really enjoyed it, and if you're looking for more tutorials such as this one, please make sure to subscribe because there are plenty more videos to come. Until the next time, peace.